disappointing. But off the back, I am very, very happy to present a legend to you now here at the air race that um, whom I've met half a year ago um, in Florida, uh, Colonel Joe Kittinger holding the record in the highest jump ever. And uh, how high were you parachuting off? Uh, 102,800 feet. I, I made a jump 50 years ago uh, from a balloon. And uh, now I'm working for uh, Red Bull to do the Red Bull Stratus project where Felix Bumgartner is going to jump from 120,000 feet uh, this year from Roswell. It's going to be a very exciting event that we hope the whole world watches because it's, it's going to be very exciting. But you have not only jumped, you have flown pretty much everything. What is your favorite aircraft that you have flown so far? Well, I've flown 93 different airplanes. And I would say my favorite airplane, if I had to pick one airplane, I loved all of them, but my favorite of all the airplanes was a P-51 Mustang. I, I love that airplane. But every airplane I flew, I loved it. And um, you, you like the atmosphere here? It's not your first air race, I heard. You've already been in San Diego. Um, what do you think about everything at, at this event? This is an exciting event, uh, particularly for aviators. You know, for a person that it, it works for the post office, I mean, he doesn't appreciate what these pilots are doing. What they are doing is absolutely magic with these airplanes. And all aviators really love to watch such a demonstration of, of proficiency that, that these uh, air race pilots do. It's, it's an exciting event that uh, yeah, there's no way to describe it. The best way is through the lens of a camera. And I also heard you wrote a book and it's it was just released now. Um, will I get to know in the book about what happened at Roswell? Because I know you were there and I'm just ardent to know about the aliens there. If you read my book, and the name of the book is Come Up and Get Me, it just released uh, two weeks ago. Uh, in that book, it describes what went on at Roswell. So the whole world can now know what happened at Roswell. I'll get the book on the way back, definitely, and read it on my flight tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Good, please do. I'd like everybody to read it. It's a story of my life and my adventures and research that I did. And, uh, I had a lot of fun doing it, and uh, I think that the whole world is going to enjoy the book. And what would you recommend young and upcoming people who want to get into the flying scene at all um, what would you recommend how how to start how to start flying doing well what we do the, the way to do it is to set a goal that's what that's what I did when I was a young lad and I think all aviators do the same thing they set a goal and they work for it and they they, they, and, and they get to be very lucky because you know aviation is a wonderful profession to be in uh, and it's going to be around a long long time Time. So if you have an interest, keep your dream, keep your priorities, and uh, hang in there, and you can do it. Thank you very much for this interview. It's good to see you. Congratulations again on all your wonderful success. Thank you. And I'll see you today.